favorite songs.
back to uh, that's is that old uh, yep G and G went down and hit the ground hard. Yeah, he did. I'm trying to see who that is that came in. I think it was uh, Sawyer Francis was the one. Yeah, that was 16. That's Francis yeah. that came in on the tackle, wrapped him up and brought him down. So it's going to a loss of eight. So it's a uh, not quite a country mile, Mr. Matt Fields. I think Matt is here actually tonight. <laughs> Maybe he is watching it on his phone or listening to it. They got 25 to go to first. Yeah, so it's a fourth down. and Yeah, not, we'll not quite a country mile. Well, not quite, but I'm yeah. sure it looks like they're going to probably get into a punting formation. I believe G is getting ready to take the snap. Takes a snap, and he does, and he punts and is able to get it away. Right into the hands. And that's Mullins that catches it back there. He's going to keep uh, rolling over to the right side. He breaks a tackle and a couple of tackles. Still on his feet. Back oh, to the nice. middle of the field, and he's going to go in for a touchdown. Yeah, the Owls did a good job sealing blocks over there on the far end of the field, and uh, there was no, not a one Longhorn over this way. Nope, he Easy ran, score. He ran through a couple of tackles and yep. went straight in for the touchdown. So Alvarado will be now on for the point after attempt. Yeah, for a second, I thought that kick was going to be blocked, but G was able to. When he ran into him, I, yeah. I didn't understand, but he said he tipped it. I saw the, the ref doing the tip, okay. so that's why it wasn't uh, roughing the kicker. There's a snap. Hold is good. Kick is up. This time it's going to be a little bit better, and it's going to go through to add two more points to that total. It's now 14-0 to zero in favor of the Owls. 8.33 left in the first quarter of play, and we will be back with you for the kick. All right, we're back. A special Thursday edition of Six Mania Football, SixManiaSports.com. We have the Silverton Owls and the Darazette Longhorns, a district matchup playing right here in the middle in Groom, America. Yeah, both of them coming in. Silverton so far has had, uh, had kind of the dominance on this. They ran the initial kickoff back, and then they ran the first punt back for a touchdown. Haven't even run a play. From yeah, I was going to say, yeah, not one offensive play yet. And they're leading 14-0, to 8.33 left in the first quarter. And they're on to kick the ball. Alvarado is going to boot it deep. Yeah, and Hottenbacher back there, and he's going to let it go out of bounds, and that would be a penalty against the Owls. Yeah, the ref last week kept calling a free kick out of bounds. I think yeah. that's what he called it. And so supposedly, I guess, from where it goes out of bounds, you get five more yards. Yep. I guess the referee forgot he's got a mic. <laughs> yeah. He hadn't turned it on. He hadn't yet, turned so. it on. So they're going to bring him out to the 30. Because if it's in tight, yep, inside the 30, it'll come all the way out to the 30. If it's beyond the 30, when it goes out of bounds, they get five more yards on yep. top of it. First and 15. Ball sitting at the Longhorn 30. 8-33 in this opening quarter. Owls lead 14-0. to zero. I was kind of proud of myself last week. I didn't mess up the Owls at all. <laughs> I got them right. Got the birds right this, you never this time. never called them the Cowboys, did Didn't you? call them the Cowboys. Didn't call them the Eagles. <laughs> so the Longhorns come up to the line of scrimmage. Kind of being a T-gun set. G getting ready to take the snap. And he takes the snap. He was going to pitch it over to Hottenbacher. He looks over. And he was looking for Lucio, but... Longhorns, and there's that's throwing more than what we thought. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're they're committing to the to the pass for sure. I say they did that at the end of the game. Uh, whenever we played over there, and had that was a, that was their positive yards that they had for the game. So again, they're going to come up. They got two wide to the right, one wide left. I believe it's Mayberry under center. Nope, it's a direct snap to uh, G, and uh, G threw it in the middle of nowhere. 
Only yeah. persons there were a couple of owls. Yeah, I'm not sure who, who that was intended for, but he was catching a lot of pressure and was just yeah. trying to get rid of the ball. It's going to bring up third and 15 after that incomplete pass. And while we're here, we got to thank some of our sponsors, you know, for uh, helping us do what we do. Sherwood Law Offices, they've been assisting people at Carson County for years. They can take care of your family and your legal needs. Be sure to contact Sherwood there in Panhandle. Yeah, 95 Irrigation is another one that we'd like to thank for supporting us. And as we mentioned, it's, it's very important to have all of our guys. Uh, the support that we have helps us to do what we do. He handles all the irrigation needs for the farmers around the area. So third and 15 for the Longhorns. They're going to come up again in a, uh, looks like a strong right. Got one out wide right. It's a kind of trying to be a reverse, and it's another pass, and it would have been a great play if, uh, you know, number 34, old Lucio, was out there, but there was nothing but. Definitely overthrown. Yeah. And Alvarado had him tied up there. Uh, I guess it only been about a six- or seven-yard pass, but as you mentioned, it was a good play. Mm -hmm. Open, and they had an opportunity. So it's a fourth and 15. Let's we'll see if they're going to punt or try to get another play. Again, we'll say, like we said, you know, Tim mentioned our sponsors this year. I mean, wow. I mean, they've really come through for us. You know, Pennell Pharmacy. You know, call Mark and the gang over there. Take care of all your needs. Yeah, Groom s &H Grocery, three stores across three towns. It, it just, it's just wonderful yep. to have this kind of support. So Longhorns in a tight spread or a tight spread. Are they going to punt? And it went back to G. The ball's on the ground, and G is running, and G is going to kick. Oh, that was Yeah, I was able to get the kick. The nice roll. Huge. Roll for Darizet. It's going to get yeah, up, and it's going to die on the. Oh wow! You talk great kick, and Lucio was down there <laughs> trying to just get down there as best as he could, and I'm not sure who that was for the Owls that was blocking him, but oh uh, Lucio, 13 I think is who for the Owls who. Yeah, that's uh, Alvarado. Okay, and Lucio, him, him, both of them were they were going at it, and uh, that's <laughs> well, some. That was one of those soccer style kicks. Yeah, where they run around, and man, he definitely roll on that. So. First and 15, the Owls will be starting at, it looks like it went all the way down to their one-yard line before they got on top of it. So up to the line comes Silverton. This will be their first play from scrimmage. They've got twins to the left, a tight guy to the right. Motion by Alvarado as he's coming across. Alanis takes it, pitches back to Sawyer, up the middle. He steps over one. There's that player, and he's off to the races on the right side. G has got a shot at him there, but I don't think he's going to have enough to get him down. No. And all the way in for a touchdown. The entire length of the field. Yeah. Francis. 79 yards. And that's going to put another score on the board. 7.52 left quarter of play. 20 to 0. And Silverton will be trying to add two more to that as Alvarado is coming on for the point after touchdown kick. Right there, a couple of. Longhorns were about to get him. I thought, like I said, I hope it's Mayberry. That I'm, over, I'm calling him out because they changed numbers on him. Yeah, but, uh, no 59. Yeah. So if anybody out there from Dare's Dead is listening, text us and let us know. Yeah. And there's the kick. It's up. And it's just barely. Bare long. It goes through. It's going to add two more. The score is now 22 to 0 in favor of Silverton. 7.52 left in the first quarter. And we will take a break and be back with you after this. And we're back. Alvarado kicking down deep. It's going to bounce. Take a bounce. Oh. That's Hottenbacher. There. Yeah. Try, he finally gets it picked up. He doesn't <laughs> get anything. He kind of ran lateral. Yeah, it's a 
no no yardage whatsoever. You're having a hard time trying to pick the ball up and uh, decide to take off to his left. I've got the advantage over Tony tonight yeah. because I've actually called both of these teams. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm having I'm having to try to cheat and look at the uh, roster. <laughs> He's having to learn them as he goes. Yes. So it's a first and 15 for the Longhorns. The ball is sitting at about the 18-yard uh, line. Hopefully that can put something together, put some yeah. yards on the – and you know what? And I got to give uh, kudos to the Longhorns. I mean, all six players are out there, and that's all they got is six because they got two. two They're on the sidelines. Yep. So it's going to be a uh, tight little spread. Snap to Mayberry. He's going to pitch it over to to Hottenbacher, and Hottenbacher. Nah, he got a little positive yards there. Nah, but let's see where the refs going. Maybe about five. Going to bring up a uh, second and ten for the Longhorns. Beating him over on the corner was Alan East, number two, and uh, McGillan, number seven, to bring him down in a big hit on uh, 59. That's that's the one we're calling Mayberry. Yeah. I hope that's correct. Yeah, me too. But he took a quite a shot as he made that pitch. Yeah. And it looks like he's still still shaking his head a little bit on that one. Yeah. But I sure Oh, hope boy. This could be bad if uh, – Yes. He yeah, he's yeah. – well, One of the one of Dare's Ed's players got injured during our game. Yeah, uh, they had to haul him, haul him in uh, on an ambulance. But it looks like he's on the sideline. Everything's doing okay. Yeah, now. Coach Smith had to call a timeout. Uh, like I said, we hope, you know, we hope the young man is okay. But while we're here, we still thank some more of our sponsors. You know, Boy Enterprises, a groom. They're the ones to contact. Contact for all your tire services and minor vehicle maintenance. Um, on your screen now, you can yeah. see Williams Farms. They they give support to. T and T and Six Mania, and we're glad to have the Panhandle contingent supporting us in what we're doing. This is a you know, Texas Panhandle is a great big family, and we appreciate their support. Yeah, and Bagwell Ag Service for all your agriculture needs. You contact Bagwell Ag Service here in Groom, and then our for our halftime show, which I doubt we'll have today. I mean, I hate saying that, but I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, Tyler Bentley. Hey, thank you. Is Tyler Bentley. I, Tyler Bentley. I don't recognize the number, but we sure appreciate it. Yes, thank to, you. Uh, get that. They said he's usually number 21. but Okay. We well, appreciate that. Yeah, thanks a bunch. We'll start start calling it by the right name. Yeah. So Longhorns come up. Going to be in a uh, tight spread. Bentley will be under center now that I know who it is. Thank you all. Takes us a low snap to a G, and G has got smashed. He was trying to pick the ball up. Luckily, that it wasn't a turnover, and it's a loss for the uh, for the Longhorns. Loss of about eight, so it's going to ring up a third and about 18 for the Longhorns. Ball sitting right at about the 15-yard line. Yeah, that defense for Silverton still showing up. Clock continues to run after that play stayed in the field. Didn't make it out of yeah. bounds. And the Owls right now, uh, Francis and <laughs> Alanis are on the sidelines. Yeah. Alanis, Alanis came out during this series. I, I saw that. And Francis, that, he hadn't gone back in. Yeah, and I'm not sure who. Uh, you know, I called for McGillan last time on the tackle. And I'm not sure who he came in for. Uh, he was over on this side. He mm -hmm. and Alanis, that's usually where Alanis was. So Longhorns come up to the line of scrimmage. little movement of personnel. Number 12, James Shockley. Is in Shockley receives the snap. He pitches it back to Bentley, and Bentley is throwing in a nice throw, looking for number twenty. That was Brendan Wilson, but the pass is incomplete. Got a little bit of uh, contact down there. No, that wasn't called. Play, but they went ahead and let it go through. It didn't look like anybody gained an advantage. That was number three, Elijah Saez. That was the one on coverage, and actually a nice little pass there. It was. It was a nice There's pass. It. So it brings up fourth in about eighteen. Different look for Derzette. Yeah, the referees. What is. <laughs> Take the snap. G takes the snap and is trying to punt, and not much of a punt. It got blocked. And the, law, the Owls have recovered down at about the, looks like at about the 10-yard line, maybe the 9. And we have a player down. And with that, we're going to take us a quick timeout. 
You're watching this special edition of Thursday Football here on Six Man Sports, SixManiaSports.com. All right, we're back. little injury timeout. That was number 30G being helped off the field, and I think the coaches and referees are discussing. See what's going to happen and see if this is going to go further or if this will be the game. You know, you hate to see that for Derzette. Derzette only has six players, yeah. leaving them with five, so I think that, that yeah. may end up ending the game for them. You know, and, and, you know and he's, I, still, he's still limping yeah. pretty good. He, he took a pretty good shot on that leg. And, you know, like I say, those guys over there, there's that you know some of the biggest hearts you know they came out for came out the season you know i'm, I'm glad yeah, they came it, out for football you know very proud of them you know nothing you know I'm not, nobody can say nothing bad about them because you know all them players and coaches yeah six deserve. man football has its ups and downs you yeah. know there's even grooms had years where we only had seven or eight players and yeah so you're just hoping to avoid the entries and get you through the season and they've already got two down yeah and then they're going they're checking G out on the sideline, so hopefully he's gonna pull through okay. Yeah, I know Coach Hearn over there along with Coach Smith, they're discussing, see what's gonna happen. And as we mentioned before, the Tigers, Groom Tigers will not have a game tomorrow night. Headley had some injuries, it's gonna keep them from being able to finish their season. So we'll have an off night tomorrow night, be yeah. back next week. But be sure to check out the game to really listen to will be tomorrow, Miami versus Follette. Follette's coming to Miami. And uh, be and sure we'll to have that one yeah. broadcast on. Yeah. That'll be on the Mixler app, won't it? Yeah, Chad Black and Randy Christmas going to bring you all the play, the exciting play-by-play. -play. Well, they're putting their helmets back on, so. Well, okay, maybe give them a little break, and we'll see what happens here. Yeah, everybody's lining up there, and. We'll see what they decide to do. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of dead air here. We're still kind of waiting to see what's going to go on. It looks like they might play five on five is what it looks like to me because Silverton has only five players out there. Okay. Well, hey. And that's what Derzette has left. So this could be interesting. This is a first. I've never called five. I've never football. either. Yeah. And for those of you that are uh, tuning in and watching. <laughs> and I think they're going to use it kind of as a scrimmage. It looks like Silverton has all of their their younger players coming out yeah. to be in there. All the starters are off on the sideline standing back. So this will be an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Mullins well, is still out there. Yeah. So, so we got five-man football. This is new. <laughs> So here add, we go. We can add this to our resume. That's right. So Longhorn's coming back to take the field. And like Tim said, probably more as a scrimmage, uh, something new. Because like I said, it's, it's new to us. Yeah, so they come up in a spread formation. Silverton does. They have first and goal. Uh, pitch back to Flores. He's going to roll over the right side. He's number six for Silverton. And he drops his head. And he's there's a flag down, comes in late from way behind, and yeah, oh, he's going to get down to about the two-yard line. Yeah, Bentley there on the tackle to stop him, but like Tim said, there was a flag and see what the ref says. Hope the ref turns on his mic. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> yep, we won't hear from him, so yep. we'll let you know what he calls out.
personal foul. Looked like targeting against the Silverton Owls, so really? that's going to move them back. Wow. So it's 15 yards from the spot of the foul, which is at the two, so they're going to be at the 17 now. And they'll get to redo first down. It'll be first down and goal from the 17 after that penalty. Coming up the line, we've got twins to the left for Silverton. Number 20, Lopez, is up back. He'll be taking the snap. He gets it, pitches back to Flores, number six. He's going to roll right. He's got the edge. He's going to tuck that ball and take off. He's got a lot of room, and he gets all the way to the corner of the end zone and puts a score on for Silverton. 5-14 left in the first quarter, and it's now 28-0. Yeah, Bentley and Lucio were a little too uh, too far off back this way or back our way, and uh, yeah, he had nobody in front of him. Yeah, they, they brought those twins out to the left and got a bunch of the Deer Zet players way off to this side of the field. It looks like they're going to try and go for one on this instead of kicking. Yeah. So that coach, I believe that was yeah, coming out with floors with the, with the play. They're going to run that same set. They're going to have twins to the left a little closer this time. As Lopez is up back. Oh, it's over his head. Goes directly to Flores. Uh, he's running around. He's being chased. He's got a little room. Rolls to the right. And then he hits Lopez in the and flat, and I think he got in. Yes, he did. He was inside the, inside the pylon, so they're going to add one more. Now 29 to 0, 514 left in the first quarter of play, and we'll be back with you for the kick. All right, we're back. This special edition of Thursday Night Football here in Groom against the, uh, not against, the uh, Silverton Owls and the Derazette Longhorns. And we were discussing, you know, we, some guys have called 11-man uh, games, six-man games, and this is the first time a five-man game, but we decided we we're going to call it a five-and-a-half game, you know, between us, five and six-man. But you know, I, We may have to have another uh, web page. We're going to yeah. call it Five Mania Sports.com. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you had six and five, and that'd be 11. You know, there's... Oh, yeah. You know, that kind of brings us back into normal football. What about eight-man? Yeah, there you go. They do that in Oklahoma. That they do. So on to kick. Silverton punches the ball downfield. They're going to put it in play. And Hoddenbacher is going to pick it up, go to the sidelines, and he's going to get pushed out of bounds. Let's see where the ref is going to say. That was number seven, McGillum, that pushed him out of bounds. Yeah, right at the 20. So that's where uh, first and 15 for the long, uh, yeah, the Longhorns. Sure, they're not the Cowboys. Nah, not today. <laughs> <laughs> so he got right to the twenty-yard line. At least that's where they marked it. That's where they did. I can't see. I guess. Let's see what the Longhorns going to come out. You know, again, he's going to be now with the uh, one less player of the formations. It's still. It looks like it's going to be. Yeah, it's a. Strong left spread. Bentley's getting ready to take the snap. He takes a snap. Pitches it over to Hottenbacher, over to the left side. Makes a nice little move and got a gain of about four. So that's going to bring up a uh, second 11. It's a nice little run by. Yeah, Mr. number 10, Andrew Walton, was the one there that made the tackle. And Ortiz was, Ortiz was over there, 15, giving a little pressure as well. But a nice run. Good nice positive man. yards there. Four yards on the carry. Got 4.46 left in this first quarter. The Owls are up 29 to nothing. Longhorn's going to try to see if they can't change that. Yep. Longhorn's come up to the line of scrimmage. It's time to strong right spread. Bentley's getting ready to take the snap. 
It's a little high snap, and he throws it, and he's looking for Lucio. Lucio was open, but the ball was just overthrown a little bit. Ortiz almost had a tip yeah. drill there as, as he was standing in behind on coverage. But the ball falls to the ground incomplete. So that's going to bring up a third at about 11-4, the Longhorns. Clock stops after that incomplete pass. And we're going to say, you know, one thing we're going to say, we're going to say thank you to all those that have uh, tuned in and uh, – Especially the folks there in Darizette, you know, they help helping us out with telling us who number 59 was. So, <laughs> yeah. folks, we really thank – I mean, we thank you all for uh, tuning in, watching, and, you know, all all the nice things that, that we get. Uh, we, we try to provide the best coverage, best camera angles, everything, replay, but we're having a little difficulty tonight on some of our uh, equipment, but surely it'll be – Always, always a challenge. Yeah, always yeah, – it always is. So Longhorn's going to come out in the spread. We got they had receivers out wide, both sides, and now it was Shockley comes over to on the line, and Bentley throws, and he was oh. looking for twenty. There was three people, three three of the Silverton players were yeah. coming in hard on the rush, and yeah. uh, it just fell fell incomplete. It was that was a well developed play if it would have connected. Yeah, Brendan Wilson there the, was the receiver, but ball went through his hand, so it's a fourth and eleven. See what the Longhorns will do. See if they're going to go for it or even try to kick. Bentley coming up to the huddle. Yeah, 410 left in this quarter. Score is 29 to 0 in favor of Silverton. So Longhorns are going to come out. They're going to be in a, uh, we'll call it a diamond spread. This time Shockley is going to get up, get up through the line. He's going to be the other receiver out wide left. There's Bentley with the snap, and he's looking for oh, number 20, oh. and instead he got number 15 for the out. Yeah, Ortiz picked that off, and he's going down the left side. He's got, oh, oh they slowed him down, and he spins back into the middle of the field, yeah. and it's finally brought down about the 22-yard line. Hottenbacher's the one who uh, grabbed him by the jersey enough to slow him down, but he, he was able <laughs> to break the uh, break the tackle. But And, uh, again, Hottenbacher got back up and – Helped with the tackle, so nice job there. I'm not sure who 20 was. He kind of quit on the the pass route, and that's what gave Ortiz the opportunity to yeah, that's uh, Brendan, to pick that yeah, ball off. That was uh, Brendan Wilson, number 20. Yep, would have been would have been uh, would have been close anyway. The yep. coverage was there, and the pass was a little bit to the inside, but they aired the ball out on that one. So we're gonna have a first down, first down and 15 balls that marked at the 23 yard line of the Longhorns, and that's where the Owls will begin. Up back again is going to be Lopez. He takes the snap, turns around, pitches it. That's number 10, Walton, and he's rolling over the right side. He's got a few blockers. Then he's met out on the corner, and he's finally knocked out of bounds. Yep, About the six-yard line, but I think he's going to get the first. Yeah, Lucio and Hottenbach are there to uh, knock him out of bounds, but there for a second it looked like Bentley was going to get him a little earlier. Oh, they marked it all the way out at the 10. I, I thought he was a little further in. So that's going to be second down and two. Ball is at the 10-yard line for Silverton. Clock continues to run. Like I said, this is a little interesting. <laughs> yeah, call seeing, uh, seeing five-man football is, is a little different. It is. It's because I'm not dressed. I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still uh, <laughs> wearing the attire from my work, and I told him I wanted to look like a real broadcaster today. <laughs> <laughs> so up in a... Uh, well, it'd be a spread with a, a one tight guy to the left. Lopez takes it, pitches it back to Walton. Walton's rolling over the left oh. side. He's got a little room. He breaks one tackle, goes in for a touchdown over the left side. 3.05 left in the first quarter. Another touchdown on the board for Silverton. Yeah, well, Hottenbacher had the shot at him and uh, was able to go through that tackle in for the score. Yeah, Walton just kind of dropped his shoulder. I believe that's who that was. I think it was number 10, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, because he just dropped his shoulder and ran over him. So they'll be coming out for the point after attempt. It looks like they're going to be going for one. They're going to line up to try and run the ball in, run or pass it in. Nice shot. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Dalton. <laughs> coming up in a spread formation. Lopez takes the snap. He has oh, to hold on to it. It yeah. was a high snap. Oh, he pitches at the floor, so they never took him down. Yeah, I thought he's rolling. 
Receiver yeah. in the corner in the end zone. I believe that's number two, Alanis. Uh, no, no, it's number five, five I think. Yeah. Number five, Keegan Hall was the one responsible for that reception. They're going to add one more. 36 to zero. Two, three, oh, two left in the first quarter of play. We'll thought, take a break. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, I thought there for a second that the refs were going to call it because they had three of the Longhorns had him wrapped up. Well, they were sitting and, there. It looked like they yeah. were mugging him. Yeah. No. And, and he managed to, to just turn around and pitch it back to I was going to say, that's, that's, a, back head, to Flores. that's a heads up play, uh, you know, not stopping. So, that, was, that, that one was good. That's, that one's. Yeah, that, it's, that's it's one another. Of those, yeah. that's, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this game. <laughs> And like I said, we're thanking our sponsors, our big sponsor. We got to say thank you to Garrison's Convenience Stores, the official pit stop for Six Mania Sports and the TNT package. These guys, there's locations in Groom, Amarillo, Clarendon, McLean, Memphis, Childers, Quanta, Wichita Falls, Perryton, and Shamrock Gas and Diesel, food and drinks and sweets at Garrison's. Thank you to Mr. Greg Hendricks for that. He's so they're lining up. Yeah, they're coming out to kick. Looks like Alanisa is going to be kicking for Silverton now. Alvarado is their, their usual kicker. But lining up to take this one is Alanis. There's a kick. He does kick deep. Yep, and hot biker back here. got the ball. He's up to about the 15. Now over to the 20. Come over to the right side. Was uh, avoided oh, one slips. tackle. He slid. Yeah. Turf monster. Yep, yep. Top tackler in the league. It always is. Every year, Turf Monster gets, got him. <laughs> so, uh, but he did bring it out to the 20, and that's where the longer will take over first in 15. Also want to thank Lark Landing Cattle for uh, being a sponsor they have for the last few years. And I thank those guys out there, Tim, Mike, Marla, Stacy. Uh, I'm trying to remember who am I missing. I know I'm missing a couple guys, but uh, sorry. But uh, <laughs> You're doing the best you can. I, I'm doing, yeah. Gerald? Gerald, yeah. Sorry, Gerald. 254 left in this quarter. And new set of downs here for Dares Yep, they're going to come up to the line of scrimmage in a spread formation. Bentley getting ready to take the ball. Hottenbarker back behind him. It's a snap. Bentley throws. It's a line. Nice little pass. Nice catch. Yeah, that was number 20. Brendan Wilson, a gain of about five. Nice throw. Nice catch. That's number Six two, Alanis, there on the yeah. tackle. And he was hit just as soon as the ball was received. That looked just like the play they tried to run last yeah. time. And it uh, fell in incomplete. So after a gain of about six, that's going to bring up second and nine. Yeah, it's good to see. Um, Darazette's getting to try out some new things. Yeah. And a uh, bunch of young players for Silverton out on the field, which is good to see as well. Longhorn's going to again going to come up in the spread. Bentley get ready to take the snap. Hot Barker behind him. Snap to Bentley. It's a quick throw to oh, Lucio. Lucio. Hits him right in the face. Yeah. <laughs> and there was nobody around him. I yep. mean, just no coverage spread. right yeah. there on him. Francis was right behind him. But the ball falls incomplete. Yep. So let's bring up third and nine for the Longhorns. Clock will stop after that incomplete. We have 2.02 left in this first quarter. I think S and D spraying also. What are the guys that provide the halftime show? Brumley Insurance for extra points, but only for groom. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. yeah. I was going to say guys. Brumley Insurance is on yeah. there as well. And Wood Flying, uh, they are also touchdowns for groom. Yeah, Great Plains Crop Services. Yes, Great Plains. Can't forget those guys. I kind of know the owner. <laughs> <laughs> kind of know. Him. I think I think everybody else does too. Kind of supports the thing. That's right. There we go again. Longhorns in the spread. Bentley getting ready to take the snap. Takes the snap and it's a oh. pass, and he was looking. He's oh, got hot a, nice a play little, yeah, though. Nice little turnaround pass, and he might. Let's see, two more yards. That's going to bring up a fourth and about seven. But uh, I, you know, I'm wondering if that wasn't designed for somebody out to the left. <laughs> but you know, poor, he turned around, really, but he drilled him. I mean, he, he hit Hotmacher right in yeah. the numbers, and that was Francis came up made made the tackle. Alan East wrapped him up wrapped him up first, and then McGillum was uh was there to help us as well to keep the game to a short game. Yeah. So it's a fourth and six. Ball sitting at the twenty eight. And the clock continues to run. We've got one twenty left in this opening quarter. I think the referee is gonna have to call a timeout. Yep, and that's what's gonna happen. The uh 
Longhorn's going to take a timeout. We're going to take us a quick timeout. You are listen, watching and listening to Silverton Owls. There is it, Longhorns, on sixmaniasports.com. All right, we're back. Longhorns are facing a fourth and about six ball at the 28-yard line. Longhorns are coming up in the uh, – everybody else is on the line, and I believe that's Bentley back behind. Be Bentley takes a snap, and he punts. Goes straight up. Coming down. Oh, and it's caught on the fly by Alan East, and he's going over to the left, stops, cuts back to the right, stops again, breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle. Oh. Now they got hold of the tail yeah. his jersey, and he's finally going to be brought down yeah. at the 32-yard line. Ottenbacher there – Got the uh, hung, hung on to him and wasn't going to let him go. <laughs> they nice were stretching job. that jersey out pretty yeah, good. Uh, so nice job by Hottenbacher on that tackle. So first and 15, they're at the 32-yard line of the Longhorns. And we're deep into the first quarter. Score of 36-0 to zero in favor of Silverton. And we're playing some five-on-five -five football mm -hmm. here. Yeah, for those of you that two are, have uh, <laughs> joined in, you're like, hey, there's a player short. Yes, that's right. <laughs> uh, injury and Injury for uh, Darizette, and the coaches got together and decided let's just do five on five. Yep, go ahead and let the boys play. And, yeah. uh, and so I'm, far it's been real enjoyable to watch. It is, and I'm glad that they did. So Silverton coming out straight into their formation. They're going to be in a spread. I believe that's, that's a new one up front, number three. Pitches back to uh, – Lopez, Lopez is rolling over the left side. He keeps acting like he's going to throw, and then he's driven out of bounds yeah, was, uh, after a gain of eight. Yeah, Ottenbacher there on the stop. And that was number three, Saiz, Elijah. That was the up back on that one. I'm having to learn a whole new set of players. This yeah. is good. Of course, I can't catch on like you, like Tim does. I mean, he can look at the program once or twice and calls their names, and then he's got them <laughs> in his head, and I can't do that. I still – Got to look down. I, I've been struggling today, but I haven't called them the Cowboys yet, so go. that's good. That's right. <laughs> as long as I'm not doing that, everything is good. Yeah. And I didn't forget to bring you to the game, so that's yeah, good that's too. True. Yeah. <laughs> so coming up to the line, Silverton's in a spread formation. So he's high. Oh, it goes all the way back to Allen East. Now this is like a direct snap. He can't break the line yeah. of scrimmage. He's going to have to throw the ball, and he does. And he hits number 45, Norvaz. Who's the center, and he's <laughs> he's wow. going to rumble all the way through. He just ran through two. There's that Longhorns. It goes in for a touchdown in yeah. the middle of the field. Yeah, that was Lucio and Wilson. He went right through. So, yeah, uh, yeah, just uh, <laughs> like you said, rumbling and bumbling, and and goes all the way in. Puts another score on the board. It's now 42 to zero. 7.9 seconds left in this quarter to play, and they come out to make the one point attempt again. They're going to try and. Either run it in or pass it in. Saez is the up back this time. Lopez the deep back. There's a snap. Pitch back to Lopez. Oh, and he fumbles it. He picks it up. What a fortuitous bounce. Do you like that word? Yeah. And he's rolling over the right side. He's going to stay on. Oh, he fumbles. But he falls on it, and it's going to be an unsuccessful attempt as he covers it about the one-yard line. So nice job there by the Longhorns on that stop keep the extra point from uh, happening. And, there was uh, a lot of stuff went wrong on that one. Yeah, it did. They did, they did well <laughs> to turn that into a good play. So 42-0 yeah. uh, to zero still, and uh, they ran ran time off the clock on that. So, nope, they're putting it back on now. I looked over and I saw zero oh. on the clock. Well, I, I know I heard the, the, <laughs> the whistle out there at the tackle, and I thought, okay, yeah, that's the end of the quarter. But Yeah, so we know. got one more play that's going to happen. They'll come out and kick. 
I also want to thank some more of our sponsors. Wit Flooring, for, they are the sponsors that are up here in the box for uh, Tim and I. Thank you to Victor Torino and uh, Panhandle Wind. Those guys were really supportive of uh, Groom this year, so we got to thank those guys uh, big time. We really do appreciate it. Yeah, Panhandle Wind stepped up, and you caught them early, and mm -hmm. we were glad to have them come on board. We want to thank the uh, Groom Ambulance Great County EMS for being here. They're, uh, they're still over there assisting on the injury that happened uh, for the Deer's that player earlier, and we're hoping that everything is okay there. As they haven't left the field, so hopefully they're just, just giving him a little bit of aid. Yeah. So lining up to kick is Alan East for Silverton. Yeah, back deep will be Hottenbacher. And they are going to kick it deep again. And Hottenbacher gets the ball. He's up to the 20, now it goes over to his left. Avoids one tackle and was not able to avoid the second. And I think that was Francis. That was Francis that came yep. in and made the tackle. Alvarado was chasing him down. Francis finished it off. So the ball will be sitting at the uh, 24, about the 23-yard line. So I'd say first and 15 for the uh, Longhorns. They've got .7 seconds left in this first quarter. Yeah, so we got we got one more to go. It's 42-0 to zero in favor of Silverton. Taking a little while to get their play in. Yeah. That's Bentley still, isn't it? Yep, Bentley coming up after getting from uh, Coach Smith. Still kind of taking their time. Yeah, they're still not on the clock yeah. yet, so everything is good for now. Here we go. <coughs> Longworth's going to come out to the line of scrimmage. They have trips over to their right. Bentley getting ready to take the snap. Lucio is snapping. Snap. And it's a throw by Bentley. Nice oh. pass, but uh, intended. In yeah. and out of the hands of number nine, Beltran. Yeah, he was and looking falls for, to the ground. Yeah, looking for Shockley. So that's the end of one. And we'll take us a break. So you are watching the Silverton Owls and the Dares at Longhorns here on sixmediasports.com.
All right, we're back. It's getting ready to start the second quarter. Longhorns in a trips right. Bentley takes the snap, and he pitches it up oh, there. Oh, that was a Nice. Too. Yeah, nice pass. Or nice pitch. Uh, probably see where the ball is going to be spotted right at about the 36-yard line. That's going to bring up second and about two. So, that nice run. Si is that, that pushed him out of bounds, but that, that was definitely a forward pitch. Yeah. If he missed it, that would have been kind of crazy. But, yeah. But, and uh, – there's that started off the quarter with a timeout. They were looking at one of their players and still made it out. So yeah. we've got another game. Game is still going, 42-0 to zero in favor of Silverton. But the Longhorns are on some positive. They're moving the ball. Yeah, moving the ball. They're also, there we go. Longhorns are coming up to the line of scrimmage and it's going to be in their spread. Bentley getting ready to take the snap. Maybe Hottenbacher's behind him. Snap to Bentley. Drops back. It's a rush, and it's a throw, and he's throwing, and he's looking. There he's at number oh. 12. Oh, nice. Boy, he had uh, number 12, James Shockley, but uh, I can't remember which one the owl had put, got a hand on it. looks like it. He's, yeah. again. I, he's everywhere. Yeah. I tell you what, Bob Bentley night, or, uh, yeah, Bentley getting his, uh, he he's can throw. reps in yes. tonight. Yes, he is. You know, he didn't start out too well throwing the ball, but he's starting to zip that ball. Yeah, that one was just a little bit behind. I think had he, had he let it about another another foot or so, I think it would have been a reception yep. or a good shot at a reception. Oh, fourth and two. Ball sitting at the 38 long, 37-yard uh, line of the Longhorn. Hopefully they can pull this off, get yeah. a first down out of it. And for those of you that are tuning in and you see there's only five players, well, it's because I had an injury um, on the Longhorns, and we wish him well. So hopefully they're just looking at him, just evaluating. So Longhorns are going to come up in a tight formation. Strong right. Bentley's under center. Takes a snap. It's a quick handoff oh, to Lucio. Just immediately. That's not yeah. right. That's number 45. Just completely wrapped him up. Yeah, the uh, owls weren't fooled on that one. That was handoff to Lucio. Lucio, yeah. yeah, Lucio. It was a quick, quick handoff, and the Owls snipped it out. So that's going to be a turnover on downs. Silverton will take over at the 37-yard line of the Owls, or not of the Owls, but of the uh, Longhorns. <laughs> Longhorns. Yeah. 9:23 left in this half to play. 42 to zero in favor of Silverton. And all of the uh, Owls came over the sideline. They're putting in a new lot of players. Yeah, it's nice to see that they're, you know, letting some of the, uh, well, Coach Turner, yeah, here we go, yeah, bringing in the younger guys in the game and give them a chance to get a little experience. It'll and, be a little different trying to trying to call yeah. it, knowing that one person's missing. And like I said, you know, I kudos to the Longhorns for sticking it, you know, sticking there and playing, uh, sticking it oh, out. Yeah. That's what I'm I trying to say. Great. Yeah. I think that's great. Very good. Very good of them. So they're going to come out and come straight up the line. It's going to be a spread formation. Owls are looking like, what am I supposed to do <laughs> with five? Francis is yeah, up Francis, back this yeah. time. There's a snap. And he's going to drop straight back. He can't break the line of scrimmage, of course. And he's looking to throw. He tosses it. He runs up towards the line. And he's got an open receiver deep downfield. That's number 19, Dietrich. But it goes in and out of his hands. Yeah, that was he was mighty close to that line of scrimmage. Yeah, he, he was. Yeah, it was twenty four. Hottenbacher back here on the uh, coverage. He he was having that cover two owls because he was the only only long one. Yeah, there's only there. one back there. What? Yep. The ball falls incomplete. Brings up second down and fifteen. That looks more like the ball's at thirty six yard line with the Longhorns. It looks like they're going to give Francis a little time at quarterback, try and get him a little work. Typically, he's there. They're deep back. Yep. And I gotta say, I got surprised the folks from Silverton that are here. I mean, oh, a good there's, crowd. A, there's a big crowd over here. Yeah. And if you, a couple of people made the trip down from Jersey, hopefully yeah. they're listening in. So in a spread formation, once again it goes back to Francis. He's rolling. He's looking to throw the ball. Got a receiver downfield again. That's Dietrich. He was backpedaling. Oh. Catches it. And is brought down at about the three-yard line. Yeah, brought down by Lucio and Hottenbacher. Thought there for a second. Lucio had a shot at it. Just put it. I think he, if he'd have put his hand up, he might yeah. have knocked yeah, it he down. He might have been there. But that, that so the ball's at the three-yard line. First and goal. 
clock should continue to run. They'll start it back up again. <laughs> Quite a pass there. Yeah. It was. Deidre kind of did a little backpedal as he was trying to change directions, and I wasn't sure he was going to get over <laughs> to, to where he needed to be, but nice yeah. catch. And actually, like you said, the coverage was good. Once again, it's first and goal. Ball is at the three-yard line. Spread formation. Francis will be the quarterback again. He's the outback. He's trying to direct the two guys where, where they need to switching, go. Now, yeah, now the switch sides. Snap to Francis. He's going to hang on to it again. He's looking in the end zone. He's got a receiver open in the middle of the field. Oh, nice Ball job. Ball tipped. Yeah, Hottenbacher there was able to get in front of the receiver and knock, knock the pass away. Yeah, as he was trying to hit Dietrich again, and I, yeah. I, I think that's number six, Flores. That was wide open in the left-hand corner. Yeah, I saw zone. that too. Yeah, he, there was no nobody not over there. Yeah, he, he sprung out, and he went ahead and uh, tried to hit the middle of the field where Dietrich was. But like I said, nice job there by the Longhorns knocking that pass down. Yeah, that'll bring up second down and goal. Ball remains at the three-yard line. I think I was wrong on that. That's not that's not Flores that was out there. That's Beltran, number nine. His jersey was balled up in front. I couldn't tell for sure. Yeah, I'm going to say something. We, we, we've been lucky this year with the jerseys, the, player, the teams that we've had to call. Yeah. You know, we've had some that we can't even read the, the numbers, and we, it was just a guessing game. There's some bad coloration on some. Yeah. Quickly up the line, strong right. Francis now comes up under center, takes the snap. Uh, broken play there, but it looks like it might work. Because <laughs> he, he handed off to. Yeah. i got, I got to look and see who that is. I know there's a one in there. That's 19 again. That's Dietrich. Uh, uh, that, and uh, he kind of pushed him on. He helped him all the yeah. way through. It's kind of like it's a, it's a play that was drawn on the ground. Like, okay, you, I'm, you're the bottle <laughs> you're cap. Right, I'm the rock. The stick. Yeah. So that's going to put another score on the board. It's now 48 to zero. 804 left in this half. And Silverton drawing up a play. They're going to come in and try and go for one. Francis kind of giving, yeah. Be, Francis yeah. kind of giving directions what where you, where everybody needs to be. Yeah, they're going to be in a spread formation. Francis is a QB. He takes it, looking to throw a pass. Oh, Five nice job! Yeah, there, and I think that was Dietrich again, and it went through his hands, off his helmet, and onto the ground. Unsuccessful PAT. Forty-eight to zero. Eight oh four left in this half, and Silverton is still leading. We're going to take a break and be back with you in a minute. All right, we're back. Special edition of Thursday Night Football. I'm glad you tuned into this one instead of the NFL. <laughs> Your uh, broadcast is a little bit more exciting than those two, the other guys. But uh, yeah. anyway. <laughs> How's that game going anyway? I don't know. Yeah. I've been checking up on the, well, the Astros and Rangers. Are yeah. tied now. Three, well, we just had a kick. Sorry. That's right. Number, here's number 20. Oh, still on his well, feet. Yeah, still Brendan Wilson. Uh, yeah, I was the one that I thought there for a minute was Hottenbarger, but it was Wilson who got the ball and uh, runs up to about the uh, 30. That's number nine, yeah. Beltran, that made the tackle. That was a good run. It he, was. He broke one and, and uh, made it through. Got a couple extra yards out of the deal. Yeah, it's going to bring up first and 15 right at their own 30-yard line. We have 7.57 left in this opening half. The Owls are up 48 to nothing. And Bentley's coming up, getting ready to call the play. 
Longhorns kind of taking their time. Yeah. Yeah, the clock's moving. What they're doing. <laughs> Coach Smith may have to call another timeout. I know he doesn't want to call a timeout, but. I'm not sure they're keeping time clock. I'm watching the back judge, and he's. Yeah. I, th I think they're just giving them time to do whatever they need to do. There's a lot of discussion going on. Here. Yeah. Of course, Coach is standing over there like he is going to call a timeout. Yeah. Let's see if he does. Let's see what, yep. And, yep, yep there's up. in, yep. Oh, no, okay, now he's telling the players to get up there. Okay, I yeah. see. The Longhorns come up now to the line of scrimmage. They're going to need to snap the ball here pretty quick. And snap. they get it done. Yeah, Bentley with the snap, and oh, there's nice. Hottenbogger. Nice. Breaks the tackle. And he's gone down to the right side, breaking some more tackles. And there he's, we go. Yeah, nice little run down to about the 29-yard line. That's going to bring up a first and 15 for Saiz, the Longhorns. Yeah, Saiz McGillum, Saiz 3, McGillum 7. We're in on the tackle, but. Hottenbacher made a nice move in the middle of the field. There. Yeah, nice little 21-yard run by Hottenbacher. So it's going to bring up a first and 15 for the Longhorns. The ball sitting at the uh, Owl 29. Yep, a good run there. A good run. And I'm still not sure they, they let that clock run an awful long time. And yeah. I don't know if they're trying to kill the clock or what their plan is. Back judge finally, finally picked his yeah. arm up. Okay, now he's doing it right this time. He's got it up there. They're going to rush up again. So Longhorns come up to the line of scrimmage again. Twins over to the right. Bentley takes the snap, pitches it up to Hottenbacher. Broke one tackle, still on his feet, and uh, they're going to stay. He's still in bounds. That's another five-yard gain by Hottenbacher. Yeah, nice little run. Forty-five Narvaez as he got hold of him and slung him out of bounds. But like you see, another run. And that pitch was forward again. Yeah. If that thing ever hits the ground, that's going to be a an incomplete pass, I guess. Yep. But nice – I mean, it's really some nice timing by Bentley, getting, like you said, pitching it out forward. <laughs> but just yep. a little little forward pass. Eh? Yep, nothing wrong with that. It nope. actually takes away some of the risk of pitching it backwards. Yep. So, again, the long one's taking their time. While they're doing that, I want to say uh, thanks to G&J Trucking. GJ Truck, Truck Sales and Groom. Longhorns are going to come up to the line of scrimmage again. They're in a tight spread. Snap to Bentley. Pitches it over to Hottenbacher. Over to his yeah, left. Yeah. Oh, wow. And he uh, gets slung out of bounds. This time the ref said this. the line yeah, the line judge said he's going to be knocked out at about the 24-yard line. So that's a gain of about six. Number, uh, on that young man. Number three was the one that grabbed him and, and brought him down. I don't know if he stayed. It looks like he stayed in the field of play. They are going to say yep. he was inbound. But a nice little six-yard gain by Hottenbacher. Yeah, Hottenbacher's uh, this, this getting a chance to yeah. kind of stretch out and make some runs here. Nothing like a little confidence booster yeah. where you're, you're uh, getting the ball as much as he is. Even though it's five, it still hates. Yeah. It still counts. Yeah, yeah this five-on-five five is still fun to watch. Yeah, we'll put it out on our website and see, you know, has anybody else called a five-on-five? Five? We may we may be pioneers <laughs> in this. Longhorns again in the tight spread. Bentley takes a snap. Quick handoff oh. to Ottenbacher, but this time, boy, he was met oh, at the line McGillum, of scrimmage. Man. Wow. Gillum come crashing in and, and got on him. Beltran, number nine, was also there. So that, yeah. was, that was a quick stop. Yeah, a very quick stop. Uh, maybe, well, he lost about a yard. So that's going to bring up a uh, fourth and ten for the Longhorns. Ball is sitting at the 25-yard line of the Owls. Yeah, most of the luck there is that's had has been running on the edges. Yep. With that forward pitch. I mm -hmm. just that, That's kind of crazy looking. But it's working. It is. I got to say kudos to whoever the musician, uh, music player. Yeah, Over here for really something good. Doing some really play, play some good music. I think Silverton's the one that's got control of it. Yeah. So the Longhorns come up to the line of scrimmage. They got one wide out right. Well, that's Shockley. Bentley is kind of telling him, and oh, oh, is that, oh yeah. I'm going to call that one. It was a trick play. <laughs> it was a nice job. It was kind of like, yeah, that was. But we got, yeah, like I said, the. Uh, that'll well, move them back five. Yeah. Well, that'll get them back to. It'll be fourth and 15. Yeah. Yeah, legal procedure. Two of them took off. 
Yeah, they but were, it was nice though. I saw that they were looking over to the sidelines like what, and then yeah. yeah, they were only a couple yards across before yeah. they snapped the ball. But it was a good try. Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah, they so they declined okay. the penalty and the turnover on downs. Yep, so Silverton now has the ball. Three, 227 left in this half, 48 to 0 in favor of Silverton. As they're going to come up in a spread formation. I think that's uh, Alvarez, I believe, is the one. Yep, that's who it is, and he pitches back to Alanis. Oh, nice a little reverse. Reverse to McGillum. McGillum's coming over the right side. There's a couple of dares at Longhorns. Oh, and he is <laughs> Lucio just lit him up. Woo, Lucio. <laughs> McGillum oh. just short of the first down. Yeah, uh, that's got to be one of the – I'm going to call that the play of the game. Nice job by that Lucio. A, a nice it, nothing dirty about it either. It was oh. just a nice – Gill nice gets tackle. a nice gain out of it. Pops right up. Everything's yeah. good. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wish our replay was working. <laughs> so this time, Alanis is taking that back. Alvarado is the deep back. Alanis takes it. He's gonna, He's looking to throw. He's not going to be able to break the line of scrimmage. He's got a receiver downfield. Overthrows McGillum. Yeah. And it falls incomplete. Yeah, Hottenbacher there on the coverage. And again, I mean, I, you know, and I'm wondering if Silverton this look for this guy because, again, the wide, wide, wide open, wide, on, wide the open on the other side uh, of the field. Yep, yeah, McGillum was a target on that one for sure. 106 left in this half. Spread formation for Silverton. Alanis again has taken the snap. Francis is behind him and gets the ball. He's going to roll over the left side. He's got all kinds of room. He's got the edge, and he's going to be able to go in easily for a touchdown. Yep. With didn't, 45 seconds left in this half a play. Wasn't, wasn't much of an effort. I mean, I'm not saying not much of an effort, but, you know, nice easy run for Sawyer. Yeah, he's able to break out to the, to the edge, get in. Clock's continuing to run. On for the point after. I'm guessing they're probably going to go for one again. So we're going to sit here and uh, we'll discuss it here in just a second. We're going to have to pick a player of the game. And for one, for sure, I'm giving Lucio a shirt for that hit. <laughs> he is going to get a shirt for that. Great play there by yeah. him. There's the snap back to Francis. Pitch back to Alanis. Alanis has a wide open receiver in the middle of the field, and I'm trying to get a read on that number, number, 10. number 10. That's going to be Andrew Walton who's going to make that reception, and that's going to bring this game to a close as that's going to run the clock out, 55-0 to zero in favor of Silverton. And uh, we're trying to decide here who on, yeah. on Silverton's side is going to get this. Uh, or, uh, you know, this year we're – Player of the game. Yeah, we give – this year our, we at Six Mania are giving T-shirts and a decal, a couple of decals for players of the game. And like I said, for the Longhorns, that's going to be Lucio. Juan Lucio, just because of that hit. And, and you know, know, you know, know what they were uh, they were targeting Andrew Dietrich a little yeah. bit, but I, I think I'm going to go with number 19. He okay. had a couple of big catches, a couple of scores. Um, I'm also going to give one to Hottenbacher because he had a good drive also uh, that last series. So Juan Lucio Hottenbacher for the Longhorns. And then we're going to go with number 19, Andrew Dietrich. Yep. For Silverton, and we appreciate everybody checking in on this game and and listening in. We enjoyed making the call. We enjoy. Just watching these guys playing. Yeah, it's it's hey, it's fun. Calling five on five. You can't <laughs> that's, beat it. That's right. And be sure you join us next week. Uh, the Tigers will play LaFours. It's going to be the last game of the season, last game of the district, senior night. And uh, be sure you check us out right here. And also check out the website, sixmaniasports.com, for the rest of the games. And like I said, check in tomorrow. There's going to be some good games throughout the state. So for my partner, right-hand man over here,